What if I told you? Your phone number is also one of the most powerful keys to unlocking your private life. In our hyper-connected world, those 10 digits are far more than just a way for people to call you. They have become a primary identifier, a digital thread that, when pulled, can unravel a shocking amount of personal data. Your full name, your home address, your social media profiles, your family members, sometimes even your work history, cyber criminals, hackers, professional investigators. They don't need sophisticated expensive software, they just need your number and a handful of free, publicly available tools. This process of gathering intelligence from publicly accessible sources is known as Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT. It isn't some dark illegal art practiced only in the shadows. Law enforcement, journalists, corporate security teams, malicious actors. The information is already out there, scattered across the internet like digital breadcrumbs. First up, a tool you probably already have on your phone but don't realize its true power. Let's start with TrueCaller, a caller ID and spam blocker millions use daily. TrueCaller crowdsources contact lists, building a global directory from users' address books. When you install it, you often upload your entire contact list, feeding names and numbers into their database. Hackers love this, it's a quick way to put a name to a number. Just enter a number in TrueCaller, and you might get a name, profile picture, email and even tags like work or pizza delivery. This first clue is the cornerstone of any investigation. Even people who never use TrueCaller may have their info in the database thanks to friends who did. It's a reminder, your privacy is only as strong as your least careful contact. TrueCaller is a massive crowdsourced intelligence database, perfect for starting an investigation. Once a name is found the search moves to more powerful tools, so while it's great for avoiding spam, remember it's also a gateway for digital sleuths. The next step, cross-referencing that name for even more details. Let's see how investigators dig deeper. TrueCaller is just the beginning. Now let's move to the next tool in the OSINT arsenal. With a name from TrueCaller, the next stop is NumLookup, a modern reverse phone book. NumLookup pulls from public records and data brokers, sometimes finding info TrueCaller misses. Enter a number and you might get a name, carrier, and even a general location. This helps confirm earlier findings and adds context like which carrier the number uses or where it's based. Each detail builds a clearer profile. NumLookup's data comes from the vast, often unregulated data broker industry. Companies trading your info from countless sources. It's a quick way to cross-check and validate information. With a name and possible location, the next logical step is to find the target's online presence. Enter Sync.me. It syncs phone contacts with social media profiles, enriching your address book with photos and details. Its reverse phone lookup can reveal social media accounts tied to a number, Facebook, LinkedIn, X and more. Suddenly, an anonymous number becomes a real person with a face, job, friends and daily posts. Most people link their phone numbers to online services for security or recovery, making Sync.me a goldmine for investigators. The danger? Social profiles reveal routines, workplaces, friends, and even vacation plans. Perfect for social engineering. Sync.me bridges the gap between anonymous numbers and public social lives. With social profiles in hand, investigators can dig even deeper. The next tool helps uncover even more hidden connections. Next up is Spy Dialer, a tool that lets you listen to a phone number's voicemail greeting without the phone ever ringing. Just enter the number and you might hear the owner's name, business or even clues about their status like being on vacation. For investigators this is the ultimate confirmation. Hearing the target's voice proves the number is active and linked to the right person. Voicemail greetings can leak surprising info, company names, travel plans, even family details. The best part, the target never knows you checked. It's a silent, stealthy way to gather intelligence. Even a simple voicemail can reveal more than you think. Spy Dialer is a unique verification tool in the OSINT toolkit. Now let's see how to cast an even wider net online. What if the target's number appears on forums, blogs, or obscure social networks? Social Searcher is a real-time search engine that scours the web for mentions of a phone number. This reveals forgotten digital breadcrumbs, old posts, Craigslist ads, or niche forum accounts. Each mention adds context and history to the target's profile. Social Searcher uncovers the digital exhaust we all leave behind. So far we've used individual tools but what if you want a master list? The OSINT framework is a massive web-based collection of categorized resources for every kind of investigation. It's a mind map of tools, usernames, emails, domains, IPs, and of course, phone numbers. Click the phone number branch and you'll find dozens of specialized tools, many we've covered and many more. 
The framework is constantly updated by the security community, saving hours of research. It teaches methodology, showing how a phone number can lead to emails, usernames, domains, and more. For serious investigators, it's indispensable. A structured map of the OSINT landscape. The OSINT framework empowers you to go far beyond basic searches. It's the ultimate cheat sheet for digital investigation. Now for the deep end, Phone Infoga. A command line tool beloved by hackers and OSINT pros. Unlike web tools, Phone Infoga runs in a terminal, scanning dozens of sources at once. It checks number validity, country, city, carrier, and line type, mobile or landline. It also runs advanced Google searches, checks for social media links, and scans data breach records in seconds. It gathers more data than hours of manual searching. Phone Infoga is fast, thorough, and can be automated for larger investigations. Using it requires technical skill, but the payoff is huge. Phone Infoga turns a casual inquiry into a serious investigation. It's the OSINT superpower for those who know how to use it. If Phone Infoga is the hacker's scalpel, Pipple is the investigator's deep dive tool. Pipple builds a complete digital identity profile from a phone number, email, or name. It indexes the deep web, public records, court docs, business directories, and more. Enter a number and Pipple might return names, addresses, emails, usernames, social profiles, relatives, and work history. Pipple's algorithms link fragmented identities across the web, solving the identity resolution problem. Pipple can unearth information you thought was long gone. For hackers, it's invaluable for social engineering, finding security question answers or personal details. While the pro version is paid, its influence is everywhere in OSINT. Pipple shows how a few breadcrumbs can reconstruct a life story. It's the pinnacle of data aggregation. Bin Verified is another major player focused on public records and background checks. It aggregates government and commercial records, adding an official layer to your digital profile. Search a number, and you might find property records, court cases, marriage and divorce records, and more. For attackers, this info is gold, addresses, criminal records, lawsuits, and financial details. Bin Verified bridges the gap between online persona and real-world life. Remember White Pages? Once a phone book, now a powerful online data broker. Its reverse phone lookup can reveal names, addresses, and more, especially for landlines. Hackers use it early in investigations, often to confirm info from other sources. White Pages can link a number to a physical address, a huge step in profiling. Premium services offer even deeper background checks, the danger. People trust the name, not realizing it's now a data aggregation powerhouse. Your old phone book listing is now part of a global searchable database. White Pages shows how even classic tools have adapted to the digital age. There you have it. 10 powerful OSINT tools that can turn a phone number into a detailed personal profile. The digital trail you leave is vast, and these tools are designed to follow it. Use this knowledge ethically and legally. Protect your privacy. Check your privacy settings. Be mindful where you share your number, and consider removing your data from broker sites. Your privacy is in your hands. Now you know what you're up against. The first practical step is to conduct your own OSINT investigation on yourself. You may be surprised or horrified by what you find. This will give you a clear picture of your current digital footprint and show you where the leaks are. Once you know what information is publicly available, you can begin the process of cleaning it up. This includes reviewing the privacy settings on all of your social media accounts. Limit who can find you via your phone number, restrict the visibility of your posts and friends list, and remove any unnecessary personal details from your bio. Next, be incredibly mindful of where and with whom you share your phone number. Treat it like you would your social security number or a bank password. Avoid using it to sign up for non-essential services, contests, or marketing lists. When a service requires a phone number, consider using a secondary number, such as one from a service like Google Voice. This creates a buffer between your true personal number and the countless databases that might collect it. Furthermore, you have the right to request that data brokers like White Pages, Bin Verified, and Pipple remove your information from their sites. This process can be tedious, often requiring you to fill out opt-out forms, but it is a crucial step in reclaiming control over your data. Ultimately, the most powerful tool for privacy is vigilance. Understand that every piece of information you share online can potentially be found aggregated and used in ways you never intended. Think before you post. Be skeptical of requests for personal data. Educate your friends and family about these risks, as their digital habits can impact your privacy as well. The digital shadow you cast is long, but it is not unmanageable. 
By using this knowledge responsibly and taking deliberate steps to protect your information, you can navigate the digital world more safely and confidently, ensuring that the key to your life remains securely in your possession. The purpose of this exploration was not to create fear, but to foster awareness. The digital world we inhabit is built on data, and the trail you leave behind is more permanent and revealing than you might think. From crowdsourced contact lists, social media links public records forgotten forum posts, these tools are simply designed to find and organize what is already out there. The knowledge of their existence is your first line of defense. Your privacy is in your hands, and protecting it requires proactive conscious effort. The first practical step is to conduct your own OSINT investigation on yourself. Use the tools mentioned in this essay to search for your own phone number. You may be surprised or horrified by what you find. This will give you a clear picture of your current digital footprint and show you where the leaks are. Once you know what information is publicly available, you can begin the process of cleaning it up. This includes reviewing the privacy settings on all of your social media accounts. Limit who can find you via your phone number, restrict the visibility of your posts and friends list, and remove any unnecessary personal details from your bio. Next, be incredibly mindful of where and with whom you share your phone number. Treat it like you would your social security number or a bank password. Avoid using it to sign up for non-essential services, contests, or marketing lists. When a service requires a phone number, consider using a secondary number, such as one from a service like Google Voice. This creates a buffer between your true personal number and the countless databases that might collect it. Furthermore, you have the right to request that data brokers remove your information from their sites. This process can be tedious, but it is a crucial step in reclaiming control over your data. Ultimately, the most powerful tool for privacy is vigilance. Understand that every piece of information you share online can potentially be found, aggregated, and used in ways you never intended. By using this knowledge responsibly, you can navigate the digital world more safely and confidently, ensuring that the key to your life remains securely in your possession.